where Wince Meat is finally out for Western audiences, but it's not macOS native, so I needed to resort to workarounds to play it on my MacBook. There are talks that the game will eventually come to Mac, but for now, we'll have to use alternatives. After some digging and some testing, I managed to get the game running through three different methods that I'll now share with you. If at any point you find yourself overwhelmed with all the information, there is a link to our site in the description where you will find a very structured article on how to play the game. Two of the ways to play Where Winds Meet are cloud gaming services, and the third one lets you download it and run it locally, so there's something for everyone. But before you choose which one you want, you'll have to get the game from either Steam or the Epic Games Store. The game's free on both platforms, so your choice here will mainly depend on which method you pick for playing, as not all of them support both versions of the Where Winds Meet. Now, let's get to the ways to play it. The first method you can use is Boosteroid, the cheapest cloud gaming service that's actually any good. Before we get any further, note that Boosteroid currently supports only the Steam version of Where Winds Meet. The main draw of cloud gaming is that your machine doesn't matter so long as you can supply it with around 40 megabits of stable internet. And if you've got a faster connection, you can crank up everything to max even in 4K, and you should be more than fine. Where Winds Meet is one game where this advantage of cloud services is on full display. This is a heavy game even by today's standards, so you need some solid hardware to run it with any decent performance without using the absolute lowest settings. With Boosteroid, you get to have the cake and eat it too. The powerful gaming rigs of the service take care of all system requirements of the game and just lets you play it without worrying about insufficient VRAM or memory. In my test with Where Winds Meet, I used a 100 megabits ethernet connection and streamed the game at 4K with maxed out graphics. Performance remained smooth, with high FPS, and the only hiccups happened when my connection would experience momentary lag spikes. I get that cloud gaming isn't for everyone, but it's at least worth the try in the case of a demanding game like Where Winds Meet. All you have to do to start gaming is follow the link in the description, register for the service, and buy a subscription. Then just search for the game and click play. It's all pretty easy, but we have a how-to tutorial if you need it, and an overview of the service if you want something more in-depth to make up your mind. The next solution is GeForce Now, and it is the largest and most popular cloud gaming service out there. In the case of Where Winds Meet, it surprisingly supports only its Epic Games version at the time of making this video. Its pricing is steeper than Boosteroid, but this is somewhat offset by its larger gaming library. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on personal preference, but I still prefer Boosteroid simply because it gives pretty much the same performance, but at a considerably better price. But if you want the best of the best with all the bells and whistles, go with GeForce Now. Like with Boosteroid, all you need is stable internet with around 40 megabits per second, and you can play games with 1080p and 60 frames per second without any noteworthy lag. And if you've got a faster internet, say around 50 megabits per second, you can stream with 4K and 120 FPS. Using GFN is similarly simple. Just go to the respective link below, click Join Now, pick a preferred plan, and register. Then download the service's macOS app, launch it, and look for Where Winds Meet. Then click play, and after logging in, you can start enjoying the game. Crossover is the go-to method in 2025 if you want to use your Mac's hardware. It will give you the ability to play anywhere you want without internet limitations, and scales better with newer Macs. But you're not going to get anywhere near the graphical fidelity or performance you'll have with cloud solutions. Where Winds Meet is a good case study for this. I can confirm it can run through Crossover, albeit with some extra steps I'll talk about in a bit. But the true limiting factor here is your hardware. Where Winds Meet requires 8 gigs of VRAM and 16 gigabytes of memory at a minimum, so even something like my M3 Max MacBook Pro with 36 gigs seems to be struggling in busier scenes. Add to this the fact that the use of translation layers takes its toll on performance, and you've got a game that's pretty difficult to run locally on a Mac unless it's a pretty high-end one. Don't get me wrong, crossover is still valid here, but you need to take into consideration the factors I just mentioned before deciding if that's the solution you're going to use. Also, with this method, you can use mods for single-player games, and there's a 14-day free trial. If you choose to use Crossover, I recommend getting the Steam version of Where Winds Meet, because the Steam launcher generally works better here than the Epic Games one. To use Crossover, click the link in the description, enter your email, and download the app. Then, after you install Crossover, you must click the Try Now option for the 14-day trial. If you need a longer tutorial, visit our video on that. Just note that the experience with crossover can sometimes vary between updates, so don't be surprised if it suddenly starts to break the game. If this happens, check our site for the detailed instructions or you'll have to research this on your own. Now, I do need to mention a couple of specifics linked to running Where Winds Meet in Crossover. First, I strongly recommend using Crossover Preview, which seems to yield better results with this game. Note that Crossover Preview isn't included in the free trial, so you'll have to purchase the app to access it. Next, 
For the crossover bottle settings, use D3D Metal and M Sync, and when starting the game in Steam, choose the DXD12 version as the other one won't work. Lastly, some users report a memory leak where performance starts to degrade over time. For now, the only fix here seems to be to just restart the game to reset its memory usage, but hopefully this will be fixed in future crossover updates. Sikarugir is currently the most popular replacement for Whiskey since the latter got discontinued by its developer. Think of it as a DIY version of Crossover. It's free, but it's not as reliable or user-friendly. I personally prefer Crossover, but if you are on a tight budget, you can give Sikarugir a go. For this game in particular, we've seen mixed results so we can't truly recommend it at the moment of posting this video. However, this method might improve in the future so we are including it here in case some of you want it give it a go. It uses the same overall technology as Crossover, but there's more tinkering involved, so playing games with it isn't as straightforward. As for the setup, you first need to install Homebrew, then Sikaru Gear itself, then Steam, and then the actual game. The process takes a bit more time compared to the other methods here, and so is beyond the scope of this video. For detailed guidance on how to set up Sikaru Gear, just click the respective video in the description, and it will show you exactly what to do. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. If you are interested in exploring more popular gaming titles you can play on your Apple machine, you should check the videos that will now appear on your screen or simply browse through our channel. Also, in case you found this content helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you in the next one.